Peace and blessings, light and love. It is your girl, Ray Queen. And today we are going to talk about dangerous foods for diabetics, some of which might surprise you. Now, we've all been told about sugar. In fact, in the Black community, we call it the sugars. If you've been diagnosed with diabetes, we might say he has the sugars because we have been taught and miseducated for so long that sugar is the only reason for being diabetic. That is is not entirely true. And so today we're going to talk about the foods that are dangerous for diabetics and the foods that you should be avoiding if you have been labeled as a diabetic. Now I have friends and family and a host of people that I love who are suffering from this disease. This is not a lifestyle disease. Diabetes is indeed one of the easiest diseases to reverse. Now do not misunderstand what I'm telling you. If you are taking medications, do not stop taking your medications because sick people need drugs. My goal and my passion and my purpose in life is to restore your health, restore the health of your body so that you are no longer sick. If you are no longer sick, then you will no longer need medication. So first of all, let's talk about what is diabetes. I'm not going to get all scientific and highly medical on you. But a lot of people really don't have a good understanding of what diabetes is. Diabetes is, first of all, it's a disease of nutritional extravagance. Um, we have been blessed to live in a society and a day and times where food is not a luxury. It's a mainstay. I mean, we have some of the finest foods our hearts could desire. The problem is a lot of the foods that we are eating now have become industrialized and they're full of all types of foreign objects and substances that our bodies do not recognize as food. So that's a whole nother conversation. Diabetes is a chronic metabolic disease, which means you have high levels of glucose in your blood, high levels of glucose in your blood. So we all have glucose in our blood, right? That's a good thing. Glucose is what gives us energy. It is converted into energy. But what happens is we have insulin, which is a hormone produced by the pancreas that is responsible for kind of opening up our cells to allow the glucose in. If we do not have proper amounts of insulin, then the glucose will remain in our bloodstream, meaning it never gets into the cells. And if it never gets into the cells, it kind of just hangs out and travels throughout your blood. And that can be problematic. That is what causes diabetes. So we're going to talk today about how to prevent and or reverse diabetes. Like I said, it is one of the easiest diseases to reverse. There are many things you can do. In fact, 80% of type 2 diabetes is preventable with lifestyle change getting regular exercise, giving up smoking, lowering cholesterol, and eating a balanced diet and or eliminating some of those foods. And like I said, today we're going to talk about the foods I need you to stop eating if you are a diabetic or if you are pre-diabetic, which is, you know, I don't even believe in pre-diabetes, but today's medical establishment does. And if you get to that threshold, there's a good chance your doctor will want to put you on some type of medication. First off, white bread. White bread is very dangerous for diabetics. It is one of the most dangerous foods for diabetics because it is a refined starch. Refined starch is found in any food that is made with flour, such as the white bread or white pasta. Um, white bread or refined starches have a high glycemic index which causes a rapid rise of blood sugar levels. I mean, immediate. As soon as you eat this white bread, expect your blood sugars to rise. Opt for whole grain bread, whole grain pastas instead. Dairy products. Now, this is one, baby. Nobody wants to hear this because everybody I know, everybody I love, but not everybody. Most people I know and most people in my community love dairy products, especially uh, cow's milk. Cow's milk is for cows. 
and especially cheese. We put cheese on everything, child. And that is a no good for diabetics. If you are diabetic, you're going to have to remove whole milk and all dairy products from your diet. Dairy products are loaded with saturated fats that increase insulin resistance. Now that's the problem for most diabetics is the insulin is not operating as it should. It's resistant to the glucose in its job. And so dairy products contribute to that. There are some very good, just trust me when I tell you this, do me a favor. The next time you go to the store, purchase either almond non-dairy cheese or Daya non-dairy cheese. That's almond, just like it spells, A-L-M-O-N-D, or Daya, D-A-Y, D-A-I-Y-A. These are some very, very, very delicious uh, dairy alternatives. It's a cheese that you can make macaroni and cheese with. You can put it on your sandwiches. Whatever it is you love to smother in cheese, these two alternative products will do you just. Trust me, I use it all the time. In fact, when I cook for guests or dinner parties, I use it and nobody knows the difference. If you want to save your health, why don't you give it a try? Okay, white rice and baby. This is another one. This is a staple in the black households and in black communities. I grew up on so much white rice, child. I don't. Mm. White rice is not easily, I mean, white rice is easily digested. It go, that's why you feel hungry. Anybody feel hungry after eating rice? Yeah, because it's easily digested. And when you have a food that's easily digested, it immediately shoots up the blood glucose levels immediately. Opt for a whole grain or brown rice instead. Potatoes is another one. Now I grew up on a lot of potatoes as well. A single mother of four children, she had to buy food that would fill us up. And potatoes is one of those foods that are very, very filling. Now I'm talking about white potatoes. When you consume white potatoes on a regular basis, um, it will absorb into your bloodstream and cause your, your blood levels to rise, your blood sugar levels to spike. So you should opt for sweet potatoes instead. Now, Notice I said, when you consume these on a regular basis, you can consume potatoes here and there without any danger, any problems of becoming diabetic. I would recommend that you either boil or bake your potatoes because when you start to fry them, that contributes to a whole nother set of diseases, not necessarily related to diabetes. Fruit and fruit juice. Oh my goodness. Now we tell people to eat a balanced diet and to eat plenty of fruits and plenty of vegetables. And that's true for most people who have not already been labeled with a disease. But if you are diabetic, you cannot eat large amounts of fruit and you cannot drink large amounts of fruit juice. Fruit and fruit juice have naturally occurring sugars in them, high amounts. And whether you have naturally occurring sugars or refined sugars or man-made sugars, it still contributes to your diabetes. Do not, do not eat large amounts of fruit or drink large amounts of fruit juices. This is one you have to be very careful with. Kind of maybe one to two pieces of fruit a day or and or one glass of juice per day. Artificial sweeteners. This is one you probably have heard about. For years though, we thought that artificial sweeteners were better than using traditional sugar. That's not true. Artificial sweeteners um, reduce insulin sensitivity. So you have to remove that from your diet. And additionally, it causes formaldehyde buildup in the brain, which is a whole nother conversation. And fat cuts of meat. Meat will clog your cells, which prevents the glucose from getting into them. It's called intramyocellular lipid. It's a fat that builds around the cells. My name is Ray Queen. Visit my website at rayqueen.com.
Peace and blessings.